Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. In the previous lesson, we have learned point-slope form of linear equation, and before, of course, we have learned slope-intercept form, but let's quickly review all of them. First one is the slope formula. This, let me remind you, that is m equals y minus y1 over x minus x1. Or a lot, a lot of time, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we have slope-intercept form that we have learned in the previous lesson, and that is y equals mx plus b, of course. Point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. In this lesson, we are going to expand our linear equation knowledge to another form, which is called the standard form. Standard form looks like ax plus by plus equals c. So you still have the x and the y, but things look a little bit different. The first requirement is x, y on the same side. And of course, that means c on the other side. It's just a number on the other side. And the second requirement is all integers. So a, b, c are all integers. The last requirement is a is positive. So you can't start with a negative number. And a is a number in front of x. So these are the three requirements. Today, we are going to learn to convert between point slope form and standard form, of course, also involving slope intercept form. Let's have a look. Example one and two. You are given a point and a slope. Let me quickly remind you what point slope form looks like again. Is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And the point slope form is going to be, in this case, my x1 is negative 4, my y1 is 1, and my m is negative 3 halves. So y minus 1 equals negative 3 halves times x. It's an x minus negative 4, which becomes x plus 4. And then we are going to change into a standard form, which again, it's ax plus by equals c. So our goal is to get x and y on the same side and all the other numbers on the other side. Then, of course, we got to get rid of things to make sure we have only integers, no fractions. So first, let's open the parentheses because we got to move that x to the left side together with a y. So y minus 1 equals negative 3 halves x. And then it's a minus negative 3 halves times a 4 is a minus 6. Now it's time to start moving things around. We want x and y on the same side, so we're going to add 3 halves x on both sides. But we also want to get rid of the numbers, so all the numbers on the other side, so we want to also add 1 to get to the other side. So this is going to cancel out the x, this is going to move the negative 1 to the other side. We end up with 3 halves x plus y equals negative 6 plus 1, it's a negative 5. But now, we got to make sure the number in front of x is positive. Also, we only have whole numbers left. So we can multiply everything by a2 to get rid of the denominator, but still keeping the equation balanced. We're going to end up with a 3x plus 2y equals negative 10. And that is the standard form. That's example one. I'm going to ask you to pause here and try example two. Now let's have a look. First, we've got to start with the point slope form. My point is 7, negative 3. So it's y plus 3 because it's going to be a y minus negative 3. That equals to 6 fifth times x minus 7. This question is, is a little bit more complicated than the previous one because we have a bunch of fractions. So first, we got to distribute. We have y plus 3. That equals to 6 fifth x minus 6 fifth times a 7 over 1 is a 42 over 5. Okay, next, we got to move the x to the left side. So minus the 6 fifth x and get that to the left side. And also, we're going to minus the 3 to get the 3 to the other side. So we end up with a negative 6 fifth x plus y. That equals 2. The right side is a negative 42 over 5 minus 3. You can put it in your calculator, or minus 3 is the same as minus 15 over 5. So it's a negative 42 and a negative 15. Together is going to be a negative 57 over 5. Next, we need everything to be whole number integers. We also don't want the number in front of x to be negative. So we can actually get rid of the negative sign and the 5 in one step by multiplying everything with a negative 5. That's going to give us. So negative 5, negative 5, that's gone. And this is gone. We are ending up with a 6x. Y times negative 5 is a minus 5y. On the right side, negative, negative become positive, And the 5 cancels out, which is 57. And that is the standard form here. Now, you don't always have to move the x to the left side. For example, in this case, 
you see, oh, my x is already a positive number. I don't want to change that into a negative number. You can totally choose to just subtract the y and move the y to the other side and move all the numbers to the left side. Then you just always end up with a positive number in front of x. You just need to get rid of the denominator so because no fractions. That will also work. So that's example two. Let's move on to example three and example four. So in this case, we are given two points and is asking to find the point slope form first and then the standard form. So of course, in order to find the point slope form, we need to find the slope first. So we can label them x1, y1, x2, y2. That's going to give us negative 5 minus 9 on the top because y2 minus y1. And then it's x2 minus x1, so it's negative 1 minus 3. We are ending up with a negative 14 over a negative 4 simplifies to be 7 halves. Now that we have seven halves, in the previous lesson, we have learned you can write a point slope form use either of the points. So let's say we want to use three, nine. That is the point I'm going to use. So we have y minus nine, that equals to seven half times x minus three. Both are positive numbers, so I'm just subtracting the positive number. Next, in order to change into standard form, of course, we've got to distribute first. So y minus 9 equals 7 halves x. 7 over 2 times that 3 over 1 is a minus 21 over 2. And then, so since the previous example, I actually moved the x to the left side for this one. Well, I see x is already positive, so I'm actually going to move the y. So I'm going to move the y to the right side so they cancel out. But that also means I need to move the 21 over 2 to add it to the left side. So it's a negative 9 plus 21 over 2 which is basically negative 18 over 2 plus 21 over 2, and end up with a 3 halves equals 7 halves x minus y. Now, in order to get the standard form, I need to get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply everything by a 2. Remember, it's multiplying everything so that the equation is still balanced, not just multiplying things with uh, fractions. So we got a 3 on this side, and the right side is going to be the 2 is gone. So 7x minus 2y, that equals to 3. I can, of course, switch things around because it's just an equation and can, I can switch the left side and the right side. So now it's 7x minus 2y on the left and the number on the right side. That's example three. Let me talk about another one, then I'll let you try a few more. So example four, same thing. We got to start by finding the, the slope x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's going to be 10 minus 9 over a negative 5 minus 4. Simplifies to be 1 over negative 9. That is my slope. For the previous example, I've used the first point. So for this one, I'm going to use the second point just so that you can see uh, you can use either one to write the point slope form. So my point slope form is going to be y minus 10 equals negative 1 9 times it's an x minus negative 5. So of course, it becomes x plus 5. Now, in order to get the standard form, it's time to distribute again. Distribute. Keep the left side y minus 10 equals negative 1 9th x. Negative 1 9th times a 5 over 1 is a negative 5 9th. Next, I want to move my x over to the left side so I can add 1 9th x. Because it's already negative, so I move it, when, by moving to the left side, I'm going to get the x to be a positive number. So uh, I don't have to worry about the negative sign in front. And then that means I need to move the 10 to the other side for now. So I'm ending up with a 1 9th x and plus y equals is a negative 5 over 9 plus a 10, basically plus a 90 over 9. So I end up with an 85 over 9. That is on the right side. Now I need to get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply everything by a 9. That's going to give me x plus 9y. That equals to 85 because all the nice in the denominator are canceled out. There you go. That's example four. Five and six are the same idea. So please pause here and try both of the examples.
Now let's move on to the next example seven. This time you were given two points and is asking for all three forms. But no matter which form you're trying to write, of course, we are going to need to find a slope first. So here you go. Negative five minus a negative three all over two minus a negative one because it is y2 minus x2 uh, minus, minus y1, so negative 5 minus negative 3, and then x2 minus x1. We're going to get a negative 5 plus 3, which is a negative 2 on the top, and on the bottom is a 2 plus 1, so it's a 3. We got a slope of negative 2 thirds. We can use either point, so let's say we want to use the first point to write my point the slope form. That is going to be y plus 3, since it's going to be a y minus negative 3. On the right side is a negative 2 thirds, and then, so this is y minus negative 3. And then it's an x minus negative 1, so we've got x plus y. Next, slope intercept form. Slope intercept form again means solve for y. So that we can get to y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to move the 3 over. So we've got y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1, then minus 3. Well, that is going to give me y equals negative 2 thirds x minus two thirds minus three. Now I need to combine the numbers. We got y equals negative two thirds x minus 11 over three. That is the slope intercept form. Next, we need the standard form. Let's write it on the right side. Standard form, which again, ax plus by equals c. So from what we have, y equals negative two thirds x minus 11 over three. Of course, I need to get the x to the left side, so I'm going to add 2 thirds x on both sides. We're ending up with a 2 thirds x plus y that equals to negative 11 over 3. In order to get rid of the denominators, I'm going to need to multiply everything by a 3. That's going to give us 2x plus 3y equals negative 11. So that is my standard form, and we have our slope intercept form and the point slope form. That is everything for this lesson. Thank you.